All right, ladies and gentlemen, the floodgates are open. It's happening. People have Marvel Spider-Man 2 right now. I'm not kidding. This is not a drill. I'm being dead serious. People at this very moment are playing Marvel Spider-Man 2. It all started earlier today with Jeff Keighley. He tweeted out saying, I am in possession of a complete copy of Marvel Spider-Man 2 for the PlayStation 5. Impression slash review embargo are on Monday, October 16th at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And that's when pretty much everyone and their mother that I know and follow and other people that are in my space started tweeting out that they also got their codes for the game. And I know some people are immediately going to assume that your boy got a code. Unfortunately, as of right now, I don't have a code. I am not playing it. I'm not lying to you guys. I would have no reason to lie to you. If I had one, I would say it. But hey, it's all right. Congrats to the people that have gotten their hands on it. I'm really looking forward to seeing what people are going to think about it. The good news is... They're sending review codes out extremely early, and they're even letting people talk about the fact that they have the game. That is an insane amount of confidence for what the level of quality Marvel Spider-Man 2 is going to be at. It's a level of confidence that I feel for you guys right now hitting the thumbs up button on this video. But that is not all. You see, alongside the fact that people were able to talk about how they have their hands on the game right now, alongside the fact that people are able to even announce when the review embargo is going to lift we've also gotten an official look at what seems to be the title screen the press start screen for spider-man 2 and here it is is there it is oh my goodness the symbiote is out clearly this is a scene we have seen a bit of from the story trailer if we go back to that story trailer there is a moment where we see harry in that same exact gray shirt as he's standing in front of the tank with the symbiote inside of it and then norman osborne is with him as he rests his hand on his son's cheek so what that probably means to me is that this isn't necessarily the definitive title screen for the game this is just the title screen for when you you first start the game and as a matter of fact the people working over at Eurogamer on the Portugal side actually tweeted that they got a review copy as well and they gave us a different angle of this same title screen Harry's you know doing some research on that tablet the symbiotes in that tank we actually saw like a life-size version of that tank with the symbiote inside of it when we went to the hands-on preview event earlier this month so in a way it felt weird it felt like we were actually stepping into the game that's cool but back to what I was mentioning you're gonna press X to start it's gonna go into the cutscene that starts off the game where Harry's probably hesitant to go into the tank with the symbiote and Norman is the one to convince him. In my mind, I feel like it's going to be a flashback before the events of Spider-Man PS4 that give us a bit of context as to how Harry even ended up in there. Then maybe we'll get the Marvel logo or maybe we'll flash forward a couple of years and we might see Miles and Peter swinging together like that cutscene that we got from the open world trailer a couple of weeks ago. And then boom, we're into the game. We're playing Marvel Spider-Man 2. I am so excited even just to see the title screen, even to hear how early early the members of press and media are getting their hands on the game like i said it exudes a ton of confidence and as i've mentioned before i'll reiterate once again if what i got to play the two to three hours i got to play the level of quality for the rest of the game is even slightly near the quality from what i played this is game of the year material this is greatest superhero game of all time material i know some people like to give me crap because maybe i speak in hyperbole but i genuinely mean it this time and now you can see considering how early people are getting their hands on with the full game that PlayStation thinks this is going to be a big one. Don't be surprised if on October 16th at 10 a.m. when those reviews drop that that Metacritic score is up in the 90s. And with that being said, let me now kick it to you guys. Sound off with your thoughts in the comment section below. What do you think about the title screen for Marvel Spider-Man 2? And of course, you guys already know I will keep you guys up to date on everything for this game leading up to its release and with the reviews dropping on October 16th. Keep an eye out. Keep it locked on this channel. Subscribe. Turn on those notifications. You don't want to miss anything coming up. And with that being said, I've been Caboose, and I'll see you guys later.